guys welcome to this session brought to you by scalers academy you guys must have come across the term image processing and must have wondered what it is and how it works in this session we will learn about everything we will learn about image processing the major topic to be covered in this session includes what is image processing steps involved in image processing what are the libraries that are involved in image processing why do we need image processing and lastly what are the steps involved in image processing but before we get into this make sure you hit the subscribe button so you keep receiving all the fun informative and insightful videos by scaler now let's get started what is image processing image processing is a way of imaging using digital computers where you can get an enhanced image or extract other useful information from the images in this method some operations are performed on an image or video frame it is a type of signal processing in which image or video frames are input and the output may be an image or characteristics features associated with that image or videos in today's time image processing is one of the rapidly growing technologies image processing forms a core research area within computer science and engineering disciplines too digital image processing may be editing of any video audio that exists in image using a digital computer It is the way to do something in the existing image by enhancing the image or cutting out something useful from it. In simple words, image processing is the analysis and manipulation of a digital image to improve its quality. The most common example of image processing applications is Adobe Photoshop. These are three basic steps: importing an image, analysis and image management, and the result. But image processing involves many complex steps to reach the result that are required. Now we will discuss the steps in brief to understand what goes in the processing of an image or a video or any digital copy. Steps in image processing starting with image acquisition. Image acquisition refers to the action of acquiring or retrieving the image from the source such as camera or sensor etc. This is the first step of image processing. Without image acquisition no image processing is possible. Number 2 image enhancement image enhancement refers to the process of changing the image according to your need it can include actions such as sharpening the image turning off the sound of the video turning on the image etc to make the identification of its key features easier image restoration image restoration is a function that is used for taking the noisy image and measuring a new image out of it Restoration can happen in various ways such as at camera focus, sound and action blurring. The aim of image restoration is to lessen the noise in an image and claim back the loss of decision. Coloring image processing. Color image processing needs the understanding of the physics of color as well as light and vision psychology. Separation of image processing is used for the aim of color processing. Wavelets processing. It refers to the process of image representation. Wavelet is an efficient tool used for image representation. It helps in getting multiple solution of the image by allowing investigation. Next up, image compression. Image compression is a form of data helpful for photography and it decreases costs. It is the process of minimizing an image in a way that does not affect its quality. Character recognition. OCR refers to optical character recognition which is an electronic or machine operated replacement of scanned copies or test that is readable by the system. It is used to access records from emails, paper, business cards, invoices etc. It is used as a common way to create digitally printed manuscripts for those that can be stored, sorted and searched in the processes like text to speech, machine conversion and display online, retrieval of key data and text mining. What are the prerequisites of learning image processing? First, you must have a basic understanding of the program in any language. Secondly, you should know how an image is presented in memory to start your journey of learning image processing. As in image processing, each image is presented by a set of pixels that form a matrix of pixel values. In the grayscale image, the value of pixel range from 0 to 255 and define the intensity of a pixel. In a color image, you must know that color images have 3 channels: red, green and blue. So there will be 3 such matrices present for each image. Image processing with MATLAB 
What is MATLAB? MATLAB is a platform for programming specifically designed for scientists and engineers to design and analyze products and systems that can transform the world. It is used in photography as a part of lab problems and exercises categories. Why is MATLAB used in image processing though? It is a common programming language. It is used in image processing by writing function files and script files to perform the actions. It helps in replicating the result in the case it is needed and testing the final result. Type of images in MATLAB toolbox. There are mainly four types of images supported by MATLAB toolbox, which are RGB images, indexed images, binary images and gray images. Grayscale images. A grayscale image refers to an image where only the shades of grays are present. It is also known as monochrome images. Grayscale images use 8 bit per pixel in the image where a 0 pixel value refers to black, 255 pixel value refers to white and the medium value between 0 to 255 shows different shades of grey. Moving on to binary images. These images refer to an image that can only have two colors and each pixel is either color one or the other color. The colors in binary images are usually black and white. Binary images use one bit per pixel where zero usually refers to black and one refers to white. These images are presented as 2D columns. A big advantage of binary images is the small size of these images. Featured images. Featured images are those that represent the mood, content and theme. Featured images refer to a matrix of whole numbers X in which each number means a specific price line of RGB in the map which is called the color map. RGB image. In the RGB image, the RGB refers to red, green and blue. In these images, each pixel is presented as three times the value of its R, G and B objects. RGB image refers to 3D dimensions of size M into N into 3 where M and N are the height and the width of the image and 3 is the color segment in the image. Applications of image processing Starting with intelligent transportation systems One of the applications of image processing is the intelligent transportation system used for automatic identification of numbers and traffic signs. Next up, remote sensing in this application of image processing, the sensor takes images to the Earth's surface on satellites or a screen scanner. The images are processed and used to translate regions and materials that are used for agricultural production monitoring, resource mobilization, town planning, flood management, etc. Next up, moving a tracking object. The app allows you to measure movement and to get a visual record of the moving objects. The various type of trackings are Awareness based on awareness, active tracking. Next up, security monitoring. Image processing is used under aerial surveillance systems that monitor sea and land. The application is used to find the configurations and the types of submarines. The important function of the application is to distinguish the many elements that are present in the water body of the image. The various parameters such as cohesion, perimeter, area, width and length are set out to separate each item. It is noteworthy that the distribution of the items is done on the various sites to define the whole shipping structure. The entire oceanic situation can be interpreted from the local distribution of things. Automatic testing program. The application helps in improving the productivity and the quality of the product in the industry. Some of the examples can include automatic testing of incandescent lamp fibers. This function facilitates automated testing of the process of creating a lamp. General Electric Corporation operates this system. In automatic testing of incandescent lamp fibers, a piece of the binary image of the string of the lamp is created on which a silhouette of a filament is formed. Silhouettes are examined to know the differences in height of the lamp. Automatic face testing systems. Image processing techniques like fractal analysis, edge detection, texture detection, etc. are used for automated face detection. Wrong identification. The application helps to identify incorrect items in electronic systems. A large amount of heat energy is caused by faulty parts. Analyzing infrared images can help in detecting such errors. What are the libraries involved in image processing? 
image processing libraries digital data will skyrocket up to 175 zettabytes and a huge part of this data is image according to idc there are top 8 libraries in python which are used in machine learning tasks these are as follows open cv open cv is an open source library that was developed by intel in 2000 This library is mostly used in computer vision tasks such as face detection, face recognition, image segmentation, etc. It also contains a lot of useful functions that you may use in ML. Scikit image. It is a library that is Python based that has a few parts written in Python to achieve better performance. It consists of the algorithm for filtering feature detection, analysis, segmentation, color space manipulation and more. SciPy It is popular for scientific and mathematical computation. It can also perform multidimensional image processing with its submodule scipy.nd image. It was the most used image processing action such as image segmentation, face detection, reading image, feature extraction, etc. Pillow, P I L. Pillow is an open source library used for image processing that requires Python programming language. It can do tasks such as revealing, reading and saving in various image formats. NumPy. It is a Python based library that is used for working. It was created in 2005 which stands for numerical python. It can easily perform tasks such as image cropping, masking or manipulation of pixel values. Mahotas. It is another image processing and computer vision library that was designed for bioimage informatics. Mahotas read and writes images in NumPy array and implements them in C++ with a smooth python interface. It has the most popular functions such as watershed, morphological processing, template matching etc. Simple ITK. It is an open source platform that is widely used for image segmentation and image registration. In image segmentation, it uses CMake build environment. PG Magic It is a graphic magic binding for Python that allows options to perform on images such as drawing text, rotation, sharpening, resizing, etc. It allows methods for manipulation of image and editing. Why do we need image processing? Image processing is often viewed as software that improperly exploits the image to achieve a different level of beauty or to support a popular reality. However, this software is not accurately described as a mean of interpretation between human viewing system and digital imaging devices. Digital cameras view the world in a different way from the human viewing system. Digital cameras have additional sound effects and bandwidth. The simple definition of image processing refers to digital image processing where audio editing or any type of conflicts that exist in the image is solved using digital computer. Image processing is a rapidly growing technology in today's time. To wrap up today's session, let's quickly revisit what image processing is all about. Image processing refers to the action of performing certain tasks to an image or any digital copy to create a new and improved copy or to perform the action of extraction of information from the copy. Image processing is one of the largest growing techs today. It is a matter of research in the fields of computer science and engineering. Image processing involves three basic steps: importing an image, import an image with an optical scanner or digital photography, analysis and image management. It includes data compression and enhancement of image and visual detection patterns. Output In the final stage of image processing where output can be altered to an image or report based on image analysis Image processing is of two types digital image processing analog image processing Analog image processing is used for the processing of hard copies such as photography and printing while digital image processing is used to process digital images by using a desktop The common data categories that are required to use during digital processing are pre-processing of a copy, development of the copy and display of information. Thank you so much for watching this video and we hope now you understand what image processing is. Please like this video and leave a comment below stating which library for image processing you think is the best and do share this video with your peers. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. 
See you soon with another video where we will discuss a new topic. Until then, bye bye.